to Dan Holmes, who will be sharing his music and uh, stories with us for worship. We would like to invite everyone to Cheryl Van Avila's birthday. We ask that you RSVP text to her daughter. And uh, it, is it Saturday or Sunday? Saturday, August 10th. Oh. Saturday, August 10th. You know my calendar this one. That is, uh, that is a typo in the bulletin. I apologize. So Saturday, August 10th. From noon to four, they ask for no gifts, but please RSVP to Cheryl's daughter, Beth. We still have some evening slots and some backup slots for the Boone County Fair Gate, and if anybody would like to help in the kitchen, please let us know. We have plenty of opportunities at the fair. People who sign up to work three shifts, I believe, at the fair get a season pass. If you work the fair one day, you get to into the fair free that day. So there are perks to this fundraiser. We also have Meals on Wheels this week. This week and? And we are starting to fill in for August. So August 26th to the 30th, if you are available to help with Meals on Wheels, let us know. And uh, it's a wonderful ministry. And it's not, it's, it's pretty smooth sailing as long as you have two people. That helps a lot. Are there any other special announcements for the good of the community? Then let us join together as we center ourselves through our pr prayers. Down to the river, I'm a sinner no more, walking down. 
gospel song as we walked along down to the river down to the river to meet my Lord down to the river Rejoice around 
generation as we say together our affirmation of faith. You, O oh God, are supreme and holy. You create our world and give us life. Your purpose overarches everything we do. You have always been with us. You are God. You, O oh God, are infinitely generous, good beyond all measures. You came to us before we came to you. You have revealed and proved your love for us in Jesus Christ, who lived and died and rose again. You are with us now. You are God. You, O oh God, are the Holy Spirit. You empower us to be your gospel in the world. You reconcile and redeem. You overcome death. You are our God. We worship you. Amen. Young and young at heart to come down and say, Would. <laughs> Do I hand you trash? 
What do I? What do you end up having when we say go find a safe place for this? Things that you want to keep and you haven't put away. Yep. So, in our scripture today, there's a conversation about where the safe place is. Should it be a safe place for God in a building that's extravagant and beautiful in the center of everyone? Or should it be in a tent? When we talk about finding a safe place, is to put it somewhere that makes sense and will remember. And the older you get, the less sensible things get, and uh, uh, safe beyond your memory. <laughs> so perhaps the people of Israel are getting to that older age where they think, well, if it's mobile, maybe we won't find God. Hmm. They want to build something beautiful and safe for God's covenant to rest and so that the people can come to that space. But God says, no, not yet. God says, just because I'm not in your particular safe space doesn't mean that you do not have safety here. God continues to build safe spaces in many different and sometimes surprising that they did not expect. So when we talk about safe places beyond stuff, and we talk about a safe place for us, and a safe place for us to maybe express our faith, or say a prayer, or meet with God, where can that be? <coughs> Any ideas? Where do you feel, where are some places you feel safe? Yeah? feel safe are places where we are surrounded by people we love and we know as we go into this world that is filled with a lot of unknowns may we be able to create our own safe places in our hearts safe space for other people so that they can share their hearts and faith with us. That's his safe space. That's her safe space. There you go. You are creating a safe space for your oxalata. Let's have a prayer. Dear God, we know and the safe people in our lives. We thank you for always being a safe place for us to come and share our heartaches and our joys, our fears, and our celebrations. We ask that you help us to create safe places for others and help, our, help us to settle our hearts in the safety of your love and care. Amen. Amen. As we come into worship, we bring all that we are.